Hi, everybody, and uh, uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules uh, to come on to today's training. Uh, first of all, uh, a bit of housekeeping before we begin. Uh, can I first of all get a show of hands uh, that you can actually hear me uh, nice and clearly? You can hear my voice. Just give me a yes in the chat box or an OK in the chat box if you can. OK, brilliant. Excellent. Thank you. OK, thank you very much. OK, excellent. Also, um, I will be taking questions at the end. So if you have any questions you want to ask about joint ventures, <coughs> joint venture brokering, um, uh, please uh, ask the questions um, during the uh, the training. And then I will um, answer those uh, questions uh, right at the end. Um, <coughs> first of all, what I'm going to be doing today is actually taking some uh, training. Uh, this is this is the actual tr training that I do in my um, ten thousand, twenty thousand um, dollar JV brokering business program. So you're you're not going to be getting just fluff and um, uh, you know a presentation today. <coughs> I'm going to be covering um, uh, most of the training material that I um, uh, that, that I do over my three day ten uh, k and twenty k brokering program. So you're going to be getting a lot of good uh, good information today and good content. Um, so uh, just waiting for a few more people to come on and um, <coughs> we've got quite a few of you on today and um, thank you very much again uh, for taking time out your busy schedule to be here. So uh, let's, uh, let's begin and let's kick off uh, today's training session. First of all, let's have a look at what we'll be covering uh, in this uh, training session. I'm going to be talking about the power of joint ventures <coughs> and specifically uh, why I still believe today that joint ventures are one of the best um, uh, marketing and business strategies you can do bar none to grow any business. Uh, we can also look at the lucrative lifestyle of a joint venture broker, something that I do a lot of. Uh, for those of you who know me uh, and uh, are friends of mine on Facebook or LinkedIn or have seen me speak at any events in the UK, US or over in uh, the Middle East, uh, you know this is what I do and it's what I love doing and it's a, a fantastic lifestyle. I'll also be going through some real life joint venture case studies, uh, some from my students on my program and also those of myself and <clears throat> taking you deep into how I got into becoming one of the world's top joint venture experts. And obviously uh, why you are here today, we'll be going over seven quick ways to make money from joint ventures. Um, I'm going to be taking you through um, uh, some of the elements that I train my joint venture brokers on my high level program. Um, and I'll be sharing the, that with you today. Um, this is probably the first time that I've uh, I've shared this content. Uh, if most some of you have been on my previous webinars, um, this is going to be uh, uh, something totally different. Uh, and I've never shared this uh, before outside of my uh, 10 and 20k programs. And uh, um, I hope my students are okay with that, and my attendees are okay with that for me to share that because I think it's it's quite unique. And I think uh, most of you on the call today. Um, you'll find it very, very beneficial. And plus, here's the thing, guys. You'll be able to walk away uh, from this training session today with the ability to uh, to implement this. So this will be really, really, really interesting. Also, um, someone's just uh, mentioned, yes, this um, webinar uh, will be recorded. And um, uh, the anyone who's registered for the webinar will get access to the recording. So if you're watching a replay of this recording also, thank you very much for taking the time out to to watch the replay. And uh, I really appreciate um, your time once again. Okay, so just a, a brief background to myself. Um, uh, most of you who already know me uh, um, know what I do. So for those of you who don't, uh, I'll just give you a brief background uh, to myself and what I do and what I've been doing over the last couple of years. Uh, if most of you know a guy called Jay Abraham, one of my mentors, and uh, where I specifically was taught about joint ventures, uh, one of his uh, business partners uh, named Mark Goldman uh, quoted me as a true rags to riches super success story, just like Andrew Carnegie. Uh, another uh, very well-known internet marketer and a good friend of mine, Jeff Mills, uh, gave me the name The Master Connector. I've achieved over $16 million using joint ventures, and I'm going to take you through today, step-by-step, step, exactly how I've done that. And these are things that you can easily replicate and copy. I'm also an international speaker charging $5,000 a keynote speech. Uh, I speak all over the world and um, uh, I'll actually be back in uh, the US in April, I believe, speaking uh, alongside Brendan Bouchard. So that should be, that should be quite amazing. Uh, I'm also the only Brit ever to be invited to speak about joint ventures in the US. Um, there's not many experts in the world. Uh, there's probably top three 
top four. And uh, I'm one of those experts who talks about and actually does joint ventures um, uh, on a worldwide scale. I'm also the founder of mybrokeringbusiness.com. Uh, it's one of the it's the training arm of my consultancy where I train uh, businesses and individuals to become joint venture brokers. I'm also one of the top joint venture experts in the world, and I'll take you through today uh, why I believe that's true and uh, why I can put a stamp on it and say that I am one of the top JV experts in the world. I'm also the author of uh, an upcoming book we, uh, which is being published next year called Guerrilla Marketing and Joint Ventures with one of my heroes, uh, the great marketer Jay Conrad Levinson. And that's going to be an amazing um, uh, um, a book. Uh, we're scheduled to publish that um, next year. I just signed the agreement recently. So for me, that's my first book, and I'm really excited uh, to be partnering up with uh, Jay Conrad Levinson on that. So that's, um, that, that's going to be pretty phenomenal. Okay, so let's go straight into uh, uh, the training. Um, first of all, the world's most powerful business strategy. This is what I talk about time and time again about joint ventures and, and why I am so passionate about joint ventures. Uh, so first of all, um, what is a joint venture? A joint venture is uh, basically it's an arrangement of mutual benefit between two or more people or businesses who have complementary resources. Now you're probably asking, uh, you're asking me what does that mean? Um, well, the resources can range uh, from anything to do with products, services, uh, business assets, and also a customer list that has a relationship with a list owner that can be leveraged for minimal cost. Now, I'll give you an example of this. Let's say you have a bathroom suite manufacturer and a bathroom tile manufacturer. Both of the companies, um, they sell, uh, they, they have complementary products, okay, but they're non-competing, but they actually share the same customer base. Now, these two companies can get together and actually promote and cross-promote their products to each other's customers, okay? But the thing is, nowadays what's happening is a lot of companies see each other as competitors, and this is where a third entity comes into the circle, which is known as the joint venture broker. The joint venture broker is very impartial and is basically uh, sitting in the middle, um, sorting out these two companies, helping them make money, and obviously taking a cut of the proceeds. So again, according to one of my mentors, the marketing expert Jay Abraham, less than 5% of people know how to use joint ventures properly. Okay, so you guys on this, uh, on this training uh, today, uh, you're basically uh, in, 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 in one of the top percentile of people who are going to learn something that not many people know how to apply and how to use. And you know, most people don't even know how to use joint ventures at all. So you're very fortunate to have this training and get access to this training. Um, uh, today. Okay, let's look first of all and um, uh, ask the question, uh, what is a business's most valuable asset? Now, what I like to do here and get a bit of engagement with all of you guys, there's, I mean, there's quite a lot of you on this um, uh, training today. However, what I like to, um, uh, what I like to um, uh, get from you guys is your answer. What do you think is a business's most valuable asset? So what I want you to do right now is just um, put your question, put your answer in the chat box, and tell me what you think is a business's most valuable asset, and we'll, we'll go through that. And I'll tell you exactly what it is. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the answers here. Um, okay, wow, we've got quite a lot. Okay, customers, uh, list of customers, uh, customer list, uh, current customers, clients, um, uh, clients LTV. Uh, which is that which is quite interesting that's life, lifetime value um, relationship with the customer list uh, customer list again customer retention uh, someone just put my mother interesting um, the relationship with customers the relationship they have with their customers okay this is really good because most of you are pretty savvy and have have pretty much um, uh, um, you know sussed that one out it is actually uh, the relationship between a business owner and its customers, this is the most valuable asset that can be leveraged. So well done to, 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 to most of you who got that answer right. See, people always say the money is in the list. The money is in the relationship you have with the list. Okay, So it's very, very important to remember that. Um, a successful business is always, um, uh, always done upon uh, successful relationships. So that's a, that's a key point. Okay, so here's how it works. When a business is sold, the, um, this asset is valued on the balance sheet, okay, and it's known as goodwill. So when you when you come to selling your business, um, this is uh, an asset that can be valued. And here's the thing: uh, some interesting stats for you. 
it costs six times as much to sell to a new buyer, right? Most of us out there who are out there doing lead generation and acquiring new customers, it costs us money, okay? It costs six times as much to sell to a new buyer because you have to acquire them, right? But here's the thing. Once you've acquired that buyer and you sell to them again and again, it's pure profit, okay? So you're selling to the same customer again and again. Now it's pure profit. And here's the interesting thing. It costs nothing if you use another business's list or another business's resource. Okay, and this is what we do. This is how joint ventures predominantly, predominantly work. It costs you nothing. Diddly squat, nothing up front to uh, acquire uh, customers using other businesses' resources. Okay, uh, because most of the profit is yours because there's no advertising costs. There's no lead generation costs, no FB uh, uh, PPC, no Google PPC. Um, it's all basically costing you nothing because you're accessing the resources of uh, the other uh, partner or the other joint venture partner. Okay, let's look at the benefits of using joint ventures. One of the things it allows you to do is compensate weak areas in your business without the nominal investment. Now, most companies that I consult with, for example, uh, one of the things I always hear is, you know, for us it's hard to catch 22. We don't really have the money to invest. We would like to grow the business, but we can't grow the business because we don't have the funds or the resources. Now, here's the thing. You can reach out to another company who has those resources, and you can tap into those resources and leverage those resources for free, and it doesn't cost you anything. Okay, so that really, really helps grow the business. Okay? It also allows you to take uh, advantage of unlimited business complementary skills and resources. The great thing here is, guys, if you do one joint venture and it works, it's a basically a cookie cutter template. You can take that to other businesses and you can roll out joint ventures. And this is what myself and a lot of my brokers do. Once we've had one successful uh, strategy in place for one business, we just take that same strategy and we uh, roll it out to other businesses. It also allows you to boost your lead client generation and profits very quickly. You can generate leads for free using joint ventures. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk more about that um, in terms of how... Um, I used joint ventures in one of my previous companies to generate a couple of hundred leads a day uh, for my call center staff, and it cost us absolutely nothing. It also allows you great branding potential for free. Uh, collaboration is one of the biggest things that you can do if you really want to become well-known as an expert. For example, I was virtually unknown two, three years ago, uh, but um, uh, with some of the joint ventures that I've done with very, very well-known successful marketers uh, and business people, that's really helped me build my brand and, and put me where I am today. It also allows you to make money out of thin air. This is one of the, the, the questions that, that always gets posed that, you know, being a joint venture broker, can you actually make money out of thin air? Well, I'm going to prove to you that you can. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, exactly how that works. And I'm going to take you through some of the uh, actual case studies uh, and the actual joint ventures that I've done myself and some of the JVs that my uh, students are doing right now as well to prove that you can actually make money out of thin air. It's absolutely quite phenomenal. It's a phenomenal lifestyle and it's a phenomenal way to do business also. Okay, so uh, I want to just uh, briefly uh, 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 tell you my story. There's some of you on this uh, training today who um, have probably never been on any of my training before. For those of you who have, uh, um, uh, if you can excuse me, I know you've probably seen uh, this part of um, uh, my training before, but I think it's very important to uh, give everyone on this call and on this training today a brief background to why uh, I'm here and why, um, uh, you know, and how my story correlates to uh, what I do today. So this is, uh, this is me in 2006. Um, I built a seven-figure business using uh, just joint ventures. And as you can see here, I had a very successful business. Um, uh, I had the, uh, the red Ferrari that I always wanted, um, uh, my dream car when I was a, a little boy, and uh, lived in a, in a beautiful 12-bedroom um, uh, Georgian property as well. It was absolutely phenomenal. Then in 2008, uh, during the recession, I lost everything and uh, I became totally broke, went from being a multimillionaire to totally broke. So um, I always, um, it's funny when I speak on stage, you know, I really, um, I really relate to people who have gone through tough times and uh, ha have been wealthy at one point and lost everything. I really understand uh, the, the cycle that they go through. So, and it's quite interesting. So in 2008, yes, I lost everything. I went from being a multimillionaire to totally broke. Um, but then in 2009, I set myself a challenge uh, to make a million dollars in 12 months and I, and I, and I closed, a, I closed a, a seven figure deal a $1.5 million deal in 30 days in 2009. And um, I just want to right now just go back and just quickly uh, give you a, a, a short version um, of, uh, of my story and, and, and how 
I've um, had um, enormous breakthroughs in my life and how joint ventures have been um, a part of um, helping me be very, very successful. And I hope you guys are taking notes because this, there's some things that I'm going to talk about in this uh, session that you really, really can apply in your own lives and you can really, really apply moving forward in your business. So um, uh, to I'll shorten down the story because it's, it's, it's quite lengthy when I speak on stage about it. But pretty much I, um, I built a, a, um, a basically a corporate training company in, um, in 1999-2000. Um, I did an experiment and I basically put up a website a shopping cart, and I uploaded a couple of files, PDF files, to the internet, which were computer training on PDF, and um, uh, it was pretty phenomenal. From day one, we were profitable. Um, uh, people would go to Google, search in Google for computer training, find our small website, uh, download, um, pay for, and download these zip files, which were basically PDF training manuals. Okay, so that's how this little computer training company or this uh, training business on the internet started in 1999. In our first year, we did pretty well. Um, we uh, were doing, we we're averaging about between five and seven thousand dollars a month, uh, like clockwork. Uh, I was also consulting at that time with a lot of big dot com companies as an internet marketing consultant. Uh, then, uh, um, in uh, in the year two thousand, if most of you remember what happened, we had the dot com bubble burst, and also we had the um, the Y two K um, issue. Let me just have a sip of uh, water. And what basically happened was two things. As an internet marketing consultant, I, I lost a lot of clients who were dot-com companies. Uh, they closed their doors. They weren't, um, there was no funding there anymore for projects. And also, because of Y2K, um, most of us um, computer consultants, internet consultants, now had a bad name because obviously we were blamed for Y2K. So, um, so this was interesting. So in 2000, early 2000, um, we, made a, we made a decision and decided to move forward with, um, with this little um, training website that we had that was making us money from day one. And in early 2000, I came across a book, and you might want to write this down. It's, um, it's called How to Get Everything You Want Out of All You've Got. And it was, uh, it's written by Jay Abraham, who's obviously is one of my mentors. And it's a phenomenal book. If, if any of you guys get opportunity to, to buy the book, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and it was amazing. The book taught me so many concepts about direct marketing, uh, strategic alliances, joint ventures. But what I was really interested in was what Jay spoke about with strategic alliances and joint ventures. And uh, for me, this was phenomenal. It was like I thought to myself, so you can actually go out there and acquire other customers and resources for free without paying for it. So I decided to give it a go. And um, in early 2000, I approached one of the largest IT recruitment agencies in Europe. I sent them an email. I basically said, if I could um, create an additional revenue profit stream for you without increasing your overheads, would you be interested? And it's surprising because I use the same, uh, I use the same, um, uh, um, uh, the, the, I use the same approach now. I mean, you know, 15, 16 years later, and um, it, it was, uh, it was actually quite phenomenal. And uh, I, the, the company got back to me, and they said, you know. We'd, we'd definitely be interested in, in, in talking to, to you, Sahel, more about how you can do that. So I got invited to their offices in Regent Street, and um, three or four people sat there in front of me and asked me the same question. They said, okay, so tell us, Sahel, how can you help increase our uh, revenue and uh, 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 create an additional revenue and profit stream without actually increasing our overheads? And I said, well, it's pretty simple. Uh, what I can do uh, is, uh, is, is call joint ventures. And then what I proceeded to do was ask them a few questions. I asked them, um, how many people do you have in your database? And they had around about 150, 200,000 IT professionals on their database. And then I asked them, eh, how do you, do you promote to this database at all? And they said, yeah, well, we, we send a newsletter to them every fortnight. In the newsletter, we just mention uh, current jobs that are available. And I said, look, right now, the, uh, the way the economy is, there are no jobs out there for, uh, uh, for IT people right now. Um, and I said, I can offer you an alternative uh, revenue stream and profit stream. And here's what I propose. I have a, a computer training uh, website, which does really, really well. And um, people go on there, they search for us, and they order, order courses. We have a very good conversion rate. If you were to promote and endorse our courses to your list of IT professionals, we would give you a percentage for everyone you sell. So they liked the idea, and we said, I said to them also, I, will, um, I have an affiliate program, so I could do all the tracking for you and provide you with reports, and then every month we'll, we'll cut you a check. And it was phenomenal. That was the first joint venture that I ever did with a company, 
and um, uh, it was phenomenal. In in our first year of our little computer training um, website, we did close to seventy, eighty thousand dollars. In the second year, with this one joint venture, our turnover shot up from eighty to three hundred, just under three hundred thousand dollars. So this got me hooked, and it was quite phenomenal. And I thought to myself, wow you're telling me that you know I, I just go out there and do joint uh, JVs and joint ventures with people and they would endorse and sell and promote my product and uh, I do no marketing and advertising it was actually a phenomenal concept so I decided to do more of it and um, in 2002 uh, the whole industry changed and a lot of people were now doing um, video based training okay so uh, back in 2002 people started to do video based training and I thought you know what we, we're selling PDF uh, courses online we need to start moving down this video route if you want to attract corporate customers so I went out there and I did some research and I thought to myself uh, you know the prices coming back were very expensive for one hour of e-learning instruction it would cost us ten thousand dollars now most of our competitors had over 150 titles we couldn't compete with that it would cost us more than a million dollars to actually create the training programs so I thought to myself, look, what else can we do? So again, you know, I went back to the book and Jay Abraham, he spoke about licensing. He spoke about how you, how you could acquire the rights to uh, people's uh, programs and products and actually sell them. So I thought this is interesting. This is a route I'd like to go down. So in 2002, I found a, uh, a computer training uh, company in Clearwater in Florida. Very successful, multi-million dollar company uh, run by a, uh, a, a, a woman CEO. And I reached out to them. I said, "Look, um, I would like to sell your computer training uh, pro video video programs in U in the UK, and uh, I would like I would like I would also like an exclusive license." They came back and said to me, "So hell, we can do that. It's going to cost you a hundred thousand dollars for the license." Then I thought, you know what? I don't really want to spend a hundred thousand dollars. So what I decided to do was I jumped on a plane, flew to Clearwater, Florida, uh, armed with ten thousand dollars. And I sat with the, uh, the uh, I, I, I went to the office there of this um, uh, uh, of this corporation. Sat in the office waiting for the CEO uh, to come to the uh, the meeting room. And it was interesting. I sat in the office and I was looking at the bookshelf. And I started looking at all these books. Um, uh, she had Dan Kennedy. She had some really cool marketing books. And then I noticed that somewhere on the shelf she had the book how to get everything out of all you all you can, all you all you've got, which was Jay Abraham's book. So I thought to myself, you know what, this is pretty cool because she would understand where I was coming from with the concept of joint ventures. So she came in, we sat down, we had a great discussion about uh, about business, about life, about joint ventures, and um, uh, we did a deal. So what I said to her was, look, I guarantee you, if you give me the license, an exclusive license, I, I'll make more than a hundred thousand dollars for you in the next in the next couple of months. So uh, I did the deal, cost me ten thousand dollars, and I flew back to the UK now armed with over 160 titles and uh, exclusivity and uh, white labeling which is branded in my own uh, in my own brand this was phenomenal this actual one uh, investment of ten thousand dollars made us seven figures it now took our business to a uh, a million pound plus turnover which is over a million dollars and we were now a seven figure business and my investment was just ten thousand dollars but here's the interesting thing guys in the US the company was selling their computer training package for three thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. In the UK, I sold it for three thousand nine hundred ninety-seven pounds. And here's the thing: I was buying it off the US company at seventy-five percent below dollar retail. So we were getting it in for peanuts, and our margins were over ninety percent. So we were now making so much profit; it was unbelievable, and a high-ticket item as well. So that was uh, that was two thousand two. And um, uh, the business now shot up. You know, it, it, within the space of a year, uh, we or we started doing seven figures. So that is that's how powerful licensing and joint ventures are, and where it can actually take your business. And then in 2006, um, uh, again, I was reading a magazine called The Fast Track, uh, which we have here in, in the UK. You, we have it over in the US as well, and it just shows you the 100 fastest growing companies in any industry, and obviously ours was technology. I came across a company in there that was a um, hundred sixty million dollar IT group, and they had over five hundred thousand customers. So automatically, I thought to myself, you know what? I would love to do a joint venture with these guys. So again, I contacted the company, like I've always done before, and I said, you know, uh, I've you know I've looked at your company, and um, I'd like to discuss a proposal. 
Um, if I could create an additional uh, revenue profit stream for you without increasing your overheads, would you be interested? And again, you know, got invited to their offices to go and meet them. Uh, beautiful glass building they had. Very successful company, uh, Jaguars and BMWs and Mercedes in the car park. Got up to the uh, got up to the top uh, office, which was like a penthouse office where the chairman and the CEO had their boardroom. So I, I walked into the boardroom, and there was there there sat the chairman and the CEO, and uh, the chairman was the uh, the CEO's father. I sat down at the head of the table uh, at the other end, and I started uh, doing my joint venture pitch. I started doing my pitch, and uh, 15 minutes into it, the 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 chairman gets up and says, "So hell, we're not really interested in doing a JV with with your business, uh, or a JV with you." And I was like, "Oh, okay, interesting." Um, Okay, so I was a bit confused, and I thought, okay, maybe it's ready for me to, to leave because they're not really interested. The interesting thing was the CEO, who was his son, got up and said, Sahel, we're actually interested in buying your business. So here was a company that was worth $160 million uh, making acquisitions um, uh, back in 2006 uh, for other companies, and obviously they were interested in buying my business. By then I had two more partners, so I couldn't make a decision on the day. Uh, but we but we finally decided uh, because they were a business to consumer company, uh, we were a B two B. They obviously wanted to acquire our company to fit it into uh, a, create a business division. So we, we basically did, uh, came to a decision. We uh, we sold a majority stake to them, uh, part cash, part equity. And now uh, in two thousand, this was two thousand six. Now we were part of a hundred sixty million IT group, and I sat on the board of a hundred sixty million IT group. Uh, my shareholding in the company was worth well over $10 million. And it was an amazing time for all of us. You know, we, we all became uh, bona fide uh, multimillionaires and uh, we all had the trappings of success and it was phenomenal. Uh, in 2007, I stepped down as a managing director to, uh, uh, to actually work on the business. And guess what? We doubled the business. So, you know, uh, th like they always say, you know, when you work on the business rather than in the business, that's when you have the most breakthroughs. And it was phenomenal. 2007, we doubled the business. And then um, uh, 2008 was my exit strategy. I was going to exit the company, sell my shares, and just relax on some desert island somewhere uh, with a laptop and hopefully uh, uh, access to Wi-Fi. Um, so that was my, that was my uh, exit strategy. And, uh, you know, alas, it, it never happened. Um, cause, because in 2008... Uh, the company went bust. It was phenomenal. This company had been around for 25 years, and no one would have imagined that this would have happened. So in 2008, this company went bust, and um, it was a it was a very upsetting time for us all, especially myself, because we had signed guarantees with the bank. Guys, any of you, you know, definitely stay clear of uh, of banks and guarantees, as we know now in this uh, in this current climate. But um, you know, definitely uh, be wary of that. And um, it was, uh, you know, the banks came after us. The banks came after us for uh, just over six, seven million dollars worth of debt. And uh, I had to, I basically, I ended up liquidating most of my assets, uh, basically selling off everything that I had, um, selling the Ferrari that I had, the Porsche, moving out of this beautiful home, and uh, guess what? Moving back to uh, my mum's house, okay, which was uh, the safest place for me to be. Luckily. My old bedroom was still there. So um, it's really bizarre because my mum kept my old bedroom exactly as it was because obviously she knew one day I'd come back home. So it was actually it was actually quite quite funny in, in a sense that my bedroom wasn't touched at all. So there I was back at home now, um, uh, you know, and the, the, the thing was, guys, I was in survival mode. You know, when you're living that sort of lifestyle and suddenly everything gets taken away from you, you still have bills to pay. OK, so I understand uh, when I speak to a lot of people uh, at events or um, you know wherever I am or speaking, what people what people go through, people are in survival mode. So you know um, uh, you know we, we all need to make a decision in terms of what we do. So for me it was um, it was quite upsetting, uh, quite traumatic, uh, especially when you've got friends who you've grown up with around in your old area who told you that you should have stayed in your old job as an accountant, which is which is what I originally uh, went into before I started going into business as an entrepreneur. But like I said, I wouldn't, um, I would, I wouldn't change anything for that. Being an entrepreneur, I love being an entrepreneur, and that's always going to be in my blood. So uh, I decided to take a little spiritual journey. Uh, with, some, with the savings that I had, I went on a spiritual uh, retreat and thought to myself, what do I do now in my life? You know, I've lost everything. I, I, I've had that lifestyle you know um, uh, living in um, uh, beautiful um, houses beautiful cars traveling the world 
and what do I do now? So I thought to myself, do I go out there and do some voluntary work and help the world and, and, and whatever? Or, But then I realized something halfway through my journey. I said, you know what? Once an entrepreneur, always an entrepreneur, and it's always going to be my blood. So with that, I came straight back home ready for my next challenge. And I still remember that day uh, very, very clearly. I sat down and, my, and my, my, my mother said to me, so what are you going to do now in your life? And I said, I said to my mother that, look, here's the thing. When you're right at the bottom of the ground, the only is only one way you can go right and that's up so i decided um uh, to get myself off, uh, back onto my feet and uh, i set myself a challenge uh in 2009 and i said you know what i'm going to do five or six joint ventures and i'm going to make a million dollars within 12 months because you know what i've done it before and i've been there and I, I know exactly how to do it but um surprise to me i actually did it in 30 days um i did a seven figure jv deal um and it was a 1.5 million dollar deal and i'm going to take you through that guys right right now exactly what I did and how I did it and it's something that you guys can easily copy and uh, you know I hope it inspires some of you uh, to actually uh, you know go out there and, and, and do big things in your life so again as fate would have it I was sitting down uh, in, 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 in the lounge and I was reading the, the, the Mail on Sunday which is like a, a, a national Sunday newspaper here in the UK and um, uh, I came across a one-page ad uh, for a book called um, how to uh, how to uh, use your PC in one hour? Okay, how to learn how to use your PC in one hour? But it wasn't the book that was interesting. At the bottom of the uh, of the ad, it said over uh, four hundred thousand copies sold. So I thought to myself, this is interesting. They've sold four hundred thousand copies of this book. Um, what else can What else can I provide them with to sell to, this, to these customers and do a joint venture? So again, I contacted the company. I actually ordered one of the books to have a look at. I contacted the company. I said to them, look. I've got this, uh, my uncle, I've ordered the book for my uncle, and um, uh, he's, uh, he's more visual, and he requires uh, more audio and video, so do you have a video version of this book? And they said no, and I said, okay, uh, I have a video version of this book, would you be interested in selling this to your existing customers who bought the book? And they said, yeah, we would, definitely. And um, the, I got onto a conversation with them, and they asked me, basically, that could I, could I send them the, the video or the DVD? Because don't forget, my background was video training. So they asked me to send in this copy of this DVD, which I really didn't have. I just pitched it on the phone. And I said to them, you know, I'd rather come out and see you face to face than actually show it to you and see what other opportunities there are. So again, I had a meeting with this company. Went out to go and see them. Very successful direct mail company. $25 million, $30 million turnover. Um, and uh, I sat with the managing director. And the first thing he said to me was, Sahel, Thank you for coming. Uh, uh, do you have the uh, the video DVD that you spoke about? And obviously, I didn't have it because uh, you know I didn't I, I I didn't have it. So I said to him, "Well, you know what? I I left the office this morning and I, I totally forgot. I left it on the table." He said, "Look, we can't go further with this meeting until uh, I know whether this DVD is uh, is the right fit." But here's the thing: if it is and it's something that we can work with, I would definitely be interested in um, in upselling that to the existing. Um, uh, customers who bought the book okay so there's 400,000 customers who bought the book so I left the meeting thinking you know what these guys really want to do a deal and I haven't even got this product so again here's a lesson in uh, if you really want to be successful at joint ventures people teach you okay and I'm going to tell you a big secret right now a massive secret that no one will ever ever tell you in the world no gurus no internet marketing gurus no one will tell you this okay it's not about the product guys it's about the distribution. Don't go out and find a product first. Go out and find someone who has a list, has an asset that you can control, has distribution. Okay. Once you lock down distribution, then you can start making millions. Okay. It's not about finding a product that you think is going to be uh, is going to be good or is going to work for you. It's it's locking down the distribution. Okay. So that's an important lesson that I teach all my brokers. And like I say, no one else uh, teaches that because that's the secret of making millions with joint ventures. So um, now uh, I left the meeting and basically I had to um, go and find this product. So I went to uh, all the Office Max stores and uh, Staples finding, to find this DVD. Okay, So I was looking in there and I found a couple of products. I, I contacted the, uh, the manufacturer and I said, look, I have a client who uh, I think we can uh, sell a couple of thousand units of this product. And, uh, but we need to be flexible on pricing and branding. What can you do? They turned around and said to me, so hell, the best we can do is give you 40% discount off the, uh, no, 30% discount off the product. And I said, look, that's not good enough. I mean, 
I need to be able to know that if they uh, if they com if they if they have a price that they want to sell it at, it's going to be a split. And also, if they want to brand it, we need to know that you know can it be branded. And one thing I said to them was, look, guys, it costs you fifty, it costs you a dollar or fifty cents to produce this DVD. Surely you've made your money back on it. So you know you would not be uh, fussed about making a profit on a deal. So two days of this I left and I said you know what forget it I'm not getting anywhere like this on the third day uh, because I had I had five six days left to get this DVD out to them uh, I went to a website called elance.com e-l-a-n-c-e.com and um, I put a project up there and I said look I've got this book I need someone to create a video for me of this book so I started getting people bidding on the project and I got a video DVD of this a version of the book a learning DVD created for five hundred dollars and I owned the IP rights to it intellectual property rights and all it was guys was it was it was uh, um, recorded in Camtasia if most of you know Camtasia is a basic screen recording software that you can uh, create training on and I went back to the company and I showed them this DVD they loved it the, the managing director said wow this is this is amazing it's just like the book and I, I stood there and said you know my you know my my team have been up all week you know working on this program well actually I actually outsourced it and uh, it was it was funny because he, the MD sat there and said, "Okay, um, what other titles can we uh, c can we produce?" And he started making these uh, list of titles. And I said, "Look, let's get this one out to your uh, to your customers first, and if they like it, we can create more titles." So I sat with the MD, and now we were working on um, uh, on a deal. And I said to him, "Okay, out of the four hundred thousand people, how many of them do you think will uh, we can upsell and they'll purchase the DVD?" And he said, well, I reckon in the next 12 to 18 months, at least about 50% of them. So that's 200,000 people. Okay, so make a note of that. Then I said to him, uh, we started working on my cut. Now, as a broker or as a, you know, as a, as a JV expert, I normally get a percentage of a deal, uh, anywhere between 10 and 20%. And um, this direct mail company is like QVC. They work on a points basis. So he was giving me really, really low points per sale. And I said, look, let's do this. You want to sell this product out for twenty nine ninety five dollars? Give me seven dollars fifty for every one that you sell, and I'll give you a license. And you can do the duplication, selling, promotion, everything. You handle that. I'll just take a cut for every one you sell. So seven dollars fifty times two hundred thousand uh, products. That's about one point five million dollars. So um, I approached the the MD uh, with the agreement, and the agreement was a one point five million dollar uh, contract to uh, for this deal on the project. And in it, I stipulated that I, have, I would have access to 400,000 customers. But here's the interesting thing. Before we signed the uh, agreement, the, uh, the MD said to me, so hell, if this works really, really well, uh, what I'd like to do is roll this out to our whole customer database. Guess how big their customer database was? 4.2 million customers. Okay? So when I talk about how I went from zero to 4.2 million customers in 30 days, that's how I did it, by getting access to someone else's database, but obviously... Uh, controlling that database at the same time so it's pretty phenomenal we did the deal and over the period of it took us actually 18 months to do this deal and um, uh, I'll give you and I'll show you right now the projected uh, the actual figures that we did from this deal and um, it was actually pretty phenomenal so let's go through it okay so here's the million dollar joint venture in 30 days I found a list first of all of 400,000 buyers and contacted the company with a JV proposal without the product I ended up using elance.com to create a complimentary product for just $500. I introduced and licensed the product to the list owner making just $7.50 per unit sold without handling any fulfillment, okay? And uh, with a total of, we did just over 201,462 units uh, and I collected just over 1.5 million as my JV commission. But here's the thing guys, this took us 18 months to do this project. And uh, it, 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 was a, it, it is a longer joint venture and it takes a long a period of time. But I'm going to cover some other joint ventures in this training that you can actually do and get up and running with straight away. So there's an example of something that you guys can actually go out there and copy, getting uh, access to a distribution list and then just introducing. What I've done here basically is very, very cheeky. I've just repurposed the content and I've, I've relicensed it back to them. Uh, now you might ask the question, you know, why couldn't they have done it themselves? These guys are very, very busy. They do campaigns on a regular basis, very big campaigns. So obviously it's something that they never spotted and it's something that they couldn't do internally. So it's something that I created for them and uh, obviously uh, reap the rewards from it. Okay, so that, that's a pretty phenomenal. And I'm now their official JV manager. So I bring products in from the US for them to look at. And if any of you guys have any interesting products or programs you want me to look at, 
um, uh, you can send them over to me and I'll give you my details at the end. I'm always interested in programs and products that I can get out to uh, JV partners and also my uh, JV brokers who I've trained are always interested in, in new deals. So that's an offline joint venture. Okay, let's look at an online joint venture. And this is something that most of you guys might not know about. Um, and, um, uh, and, and, and I was fundamentally the, 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 the JV broker behind this launch. So let's look at a seven-figure launch. You might have heard of online launches and, and, and on, online joint ventures. And this is one that I was involved in uh, probably over two years now. But it's one of the most famous ones that I've been in, in, involved in. And it's really helped catapult uh, this person into the limelight. So here's a friend of mine, uh, his name is Chris Farrell, most of you might know him, very, very um, a cool marketer, originally from the UK, now living in Beverly Hills. Uh, he has a great membership site, and uh, uh, you guys definitely need to check it out, at Chris Farrell membership, uh, um, I think it's Chris Farrell membership online.com. Uh, great guy, great personality, and uh, um, uh, doing some crazy, really cool stuff. So Chris Farrell approached me and said, so hell, you're the JV guy, the connector, uh, could you connect me with this guy? So here's another one of my friends, Mike Filsane, very well known in the internet marketing industry. And basically, I connected these two guys together, and uh, they launched something called affiliate.com, uh, which made them just uh, over $4 million. So a lot of people don't know that, that I was the guy behind it, but I was the joint venture broker behind um, uh, one of the most successful launches uh, over the la uh, in the last sort of two, two years. And uh, it's, it's really done well for, uh, for, for Chris as well, and, uh, uh, and good luck to him. Okay, so... Um, Let's move on. I'm going to go through a couple of case studies now um, and uh, let you into some of the JVs that some of my students have been doing and you can actually write down some notes because this is some of the stuff that you can actually copy as well. So um, I met Kim on Mike Fussell's marketing cruise um, uh, about a year ago, in about a year or two ago in January. He does a marketer's cruise which is, which is really, really cool where all the, the, the top marketers get together. And um, we had a brief conversation over dinner about what I do. And when I go to events, guys, and I go to places, I don't, I don't push my business card in people's faces and say, this is what I do, hire me or whatever. I actually go out there and do stuff for free, okay? I like to help people. And if I put deals together on a, in an, at an event or, or on a cruise, uh, I don't take a cut because it's something that I like doing to get people together and get, and, and get, get myself, you know, uh, uh, build a good relationship with people. So we had a brief conversation over dinner about what I do in JV brokering. And the two weeks later, she contacted me and said to me that, um, so hell, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working two jobs for a medical school and I, I, I love to do what you're doing. I like to do joint ventures. You know, I like to make money out of thin air. And uh, I said, to her, well, you know, it, I'll show you exactly what I do and how I do it. And let's see how we can help you. So we had a strategy session and I enrolled her onto one of my JV brokering programs. And, um, uh, I also connected there with a few of my contacts because anyone, everyone on my program, I also open my Rolodex out to them and I connect them with everyone that I know. So uh, six weeks later, she contacted me. She said, you know, what? I've just done my first JV deal. So basically she put together a product owner um, who had a membership site and, a, and another uh, big list owner who I actually provided for her. The product was a $99 a month membership site. And in her first week, she did 262 sales, making uh, taking 20% uh, as a commission and then the first week she did five thousand dollars overall in the month she did over just over twenty thousand dollars okay with just one JV but here's the interesting thing um, she's uh, she was over in Miami working in Miami and she was at a nightclub and she was telling people what she does I'm a joint venture broker I'm a JV broker she was approached by a um, a, 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 a high level vodka drinks company who was trying to find suitable JV partners in the nightclub chains in Miami and here's what she did she JV'd his drinks into some of the top nightclub chains in Miami, uh, making $35 a case with a minimum order commitment, right, of 2,000, uh, 2000 uh, uh, drinks, minimum order commitment. So she ended up making $70,000 from this JV. And here's the interesting thing. When she did that, she said to me, Sahel, what's the point of, why am, I, why, am I, uh, why am I studying so hard to become a doctor when I can make more money becoming a JV broker? And I said, look, hey, hey, hang on. Make sure you stay in school. You know, your parents put you in there to become a doctor, not a JV broker. So I don't want your, your parents uh, chasing me down the road saying, my daughter was going to become a, a JV, uh, a, a doctor, but now you, she became a JV broker. So I said, no, stay in school. And just do JVs when you need to, to raise more money. Here's another case study. This guy has done absolutely phenomenal. This is a, another friend of mine, Mark. Um, completed one of my JV broker programs and was originally looking to do a small joint venture. 
So after he had a strategy session with me, he decided to go all out and aim higher. Because I always said to people, look, what's the point? If you're gonna if you're gonna aim, you might as well aim high. The worst thing that can happen is people can, can say no or it doesn't work. Okay, just move on to the next one. So he went through his own database and found a teddy bear manufacturer on his list. Okay. He then contacted one of the largest gift suppliers in the UK with a JV proposal, and this was phenomenal. The gift supplier ordered 60,000 teddy bears in, 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 in year one, and Mark made just over $72,000 as his commission. And here's the funny thing. I said to Mark, Mark, what's so appealing about these teddy bears? And he said, he said to me, dude, they're Bob Marley. They're Jamaican teddy bears. So it was quite funny when I, you know, what a, what a niche that he went into, uh, you know, Jamaican Bob Marley uh, teddy bears. So it was, it was quite funny. Here's another one. This is really cool. This is the only student uh, that's ever done this on my program. Uh, Richard enrolled on my JV Broker program. Uh, after he had a strategy session with me, he decided to do something very, very unique. Okay, He approached one of the UK's biggest marketing experts with a JV proposal. He then contacted me and asked me if I was willing to promote my, J my JV coaching program to his list of 50,000 buyers. Now, here's the interesting thing. With that actual project, we should do well over half a million dollars in sales and Richard's gonna would will take his ten percent fee as a JV broker. Okay, so that's one one of the you know easiest JVs that you can do, which is a basic, um, uh, 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 you know, an, a basic uh, a promotion endorsement joint venture. This is really from not phenomenal as well. George enrolled on my JV broker program actually in November, just gone actually last month. After he had a strategy session, he decided to target well-known business experts in in the U.S. Okay. He approached three of the biggest business experts in the U.S. with a JV proposal, and this is phenomenal, guys. He got 100% of them to agree to get on a call, and we just actually got on uh, on uh, some of the calls today, and I was actually with him on the call. Uh, any, everyone on my program, they get uh, they get access to me, and I actually get onto calls to help close deals as well. He'll be closing hopefully his first JV client deal this week with one of the three calls he's had so far. So his strike rate could be 100%. It could be three calls and three JV deals. So fingers crossed if he gets that, that will be a record for the program. So here's another interesting one. Um, this is my uh, example of something that I've done recently. Okay, uh, I was approached by a personal development company selling training to organizations. They had a great product and only three licensing clients bringing in 80% of their sales. Now, you know the old 80-20 rule. 80% of their client, and sorry, 20% um, uh, of their clients were bringing in 80% of their sales. So we identified that they needed more licensing partners. So we had a strategy session, and I decided to help them as a client to help build their licensing and reseller platform for them to reach at least one million pounds within 12 months. They're doing about half a million uh, pound turnover right now. And this is me personally, guys, because I've been doing this for over sort of 15 years. I charged them 25K, which is what I normally charge as a retainer, and 15% of gross sales achieved from the deal. And this is going to be quite a phenomenal, a phenomenal project for me because here's the thing. I locate the partners and they close them. So how easy is that? You know, I'm using my skills to go out there and build a licensing uh, and resell a platform for them and they close, the, they close on the clients. Okay, so that's an interesting uh, uh, concept that I, I'm doing a lot of a lot of more nowadays okay so um, uh, just a quick um, uh, uh, just a quick I intro to the uh, a, a testimonial actually from one of my students on the joint venture business program and guys don't worry we're gonna go we're gonna go back more into more training but I just want to give you a heads up here and this is what people say about my program uh, so health course was a three-day immersion into JV brokering uh, the way so health presents is excellent because he breaks it up into segments each day the groups are small, which is nice. It is very interactive. Sahel is so competent in this field, I just wish I could have cloned him, which most people try and do, but and this is what I'm trying to do myself by creating more people like me in the world. He really is a master and explains everything so well. When you are finished on the third day, you really feel that you can do this. I really would recommend this program because Sahel really delivers from his end. It will be up to you to take action, and he is with you every step of the way. He makes it clear that the weekly calls are a must, and I do weekly calls with all my uh, brokers. We have a 12-month uh, coaching program uh, from the beginning, and it has been great for me because it is about accountability. With other very expensive programs I've purchased, it was after the course uh, you are sent out on your own with no personal one-on-one -on -one like Sahel offers. So this is a, a testimonial from one of my best students, Mary Kay Allen, uh, who's given, who gave me a, a, a phenomenal uh, testimonial. Okay, guys. So um, please stay to the end. 
uh, uh, for an opportunity. Uh, if you want details on the next program, uh, like I say, stay to the end and I'll tell you more about the program. But for now, let's continue the training of what you guys are here for, okay? All right, so let's look at the main, uh, the main subject today, which is quick ways to make money from JVs. So first of all, let's look at, um, uh, at uh, strategy number one. This is online, okay? This is the most common joint ventures that people always do. And this is what it involves. You find someone with a complimentary product or a newsletter, and you contact them to promote your product or bundle it with their own, okay? This could be done through emailing each other's lists or via a link on their newsletter or website. A very simple way to get started with joint ventures. So again, like, you know, I had a conversation with one of my brokers today, and we got on to... Um, Speaking to some, oh, some phenomenal. We actually spoke to someone today who was on the Secret Millionaire, which was really, really interesting. Uh, George, one of my brokers, is very well connected in that space with these um, uh, phenomenal uh, business experts. And again, with her, it was she had a program um, that she wanted to uh, to go out there and promote, but she was looking for specific JV partners. Okay, and our job basically would be to go out and find them um, uh, specific joint venture partners who. Uh, would promote her program if it fits their um, if it fits their their the the theme okay of their clients and if it's a synergy if it's synergistic in terms of what they do you can't just expect to find a joint venture partner and get and tell them to promote your product if their clients and their customers aren't even interested in in the product okay so it doesn't work like that you've got to make sure that there's a it's a win 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 okay there's three wins here a win for the JV partner a win for the client and a win for the customers, okay? People say it's a win-win, it's a win-win-win, okay? So, um, strategy number two is licensing. Now, here is, guys, one of the, the things that I've made the most money from, and I, and I continuously to do that. Now, here's the thing with licensing. You can make money instantly by buying or owning the rights to things that are proven, okay? And here's the thing, because it's already been tested, you don't need to spend time and energy to prove that it would actually sell. Now, I'll give you an example of how I did this, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to let you into something that I, I've done in the past and some of my brokers are doing. Look out for companies that are going uh, into liquidation and see what assets they have that you can actually buy for pennies. Uh, they may have programs, they may have manuals, they may have systems that, uh, uh, that uh, you can buy the license, you can actually buy the rights to, and then you can relicense that, okay? You can go out there and you can uh, acquire something really, really cheap and actually uh, license it and actually go out there and sell it, okay? And you can make so much money from it because it's something that's proven, tested, and sold. That's sometimes the best ways uh, to make uh, money. You can also charge people a royalty uh, for the rights to your products and make money. Um, I'm planning on doing this next year. I've got an organization that's approached me in the U.S. that want to license some of my uh, joint venture broker training for their sales managers. And um, I'll be looking at doing a licensing deal with them. It'll probably be a white label deal where they have access to my training under their own brand, for example. But it would be a hefty license, at least a six-figure license for me on a yearly basis. One of the quickest ways to make millions. Okay, distribution again, like I talked earlier. Distribution is the key, guys. If you can lock down distribution, access to an asset. Now, here's the thing with distribution, okay, and control of assets. I've uh, recently just managed to acquire control of two things, okay, two assets. One is a 40,000 square foot mansion in Florida, actually um, owned by one of my mentor's mentors, who's a billionaire. I have access to that mansion for free. I don't pay for it, but I have that asset that I've got to create uh, money from it, and I give them a percentage. I also have just required, uh, acquired um, control of a six-bedroom villa in, in Spain, um, which is, uh, actually belongs to a client of mine. And um, he's given me access to that for 12 months for free. I don't pay nothing for it, but uh, I'm ho I'm thinking of I'm looking at holding some retreats in the mansion and in the villa in Spain next year. And uh, for that, I'll be charging 45 to 10 thousand dollars, and I just give them a percentage. So they'll make more money uh, from the events that I do from uh, rather than possibly the rental that they uh, that they would be getting. So that's something that you can do. Also, acquiring control. I love doing that. Acquiring control of assets without actually paying for it but actually uh, uh, leveraging it to create an income and um, uh, uh, monetize it for myself and my client. Okay, so that's something that I teach all my brokers to do as well. 
So, you know, another thing you can do is negotiate exclusivity if the product owner doesn't have some kind of affiliate program in place. Now, here's a great thing, guys. We spoke to one person today who has some phenomenal products, but they don't have an affiliate program. They don't have affiliates. So you can actually, uh, what you could do is you can negotiate exclusivity of the product and, uh, um, you know, go out there and uh, build an affiliate sales force or a reseller force for them, which is something that I'm doing with a, uh, one of these, uh, one of the personal development clients that I have, uh, the big personal development clients. Here's the thing: remember this: control the distribution, and you control the money. Okay. So uh, let's look at um, uh, the uh, number. Where are we here? Number four: product creation. This is a great thing, guys. You know, you should all of you have your own products and create your own products. It's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you can approach people with great products that aren't electronic and offer to transcribe their product for them. Or obviously you can create your own products. But go after people who have products that uh, may be electronic. For example, ClickBank products. You know, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are not so good. Um, and you can transcribe them into audio products, for example. Uh, some of them are already in audio and video form. Uh, but some people have products that just sit online. Uh, I mean, I've seen people who still have products that are PowerPoint slides, for God's sake, you know, and uh, they still sell them, uh, especially like the lawyers, attorneys, and the people who aren't very, you know, the, uh, some people who aren't very tech savvy. Um, no offense to any lawyers or attorneys on this call today, um, but, you know, you can recreate and you can offer to do that, exactly like I did with the book. You know, I repurposed the book into a video, okay? And uh, and that way you can uh, you can not only sell it that way that you, that way they can also sell it as an elect electronic product too to JV partners that you find. But make sure you ask for a percentage of sales on that. Very very important. See, there's some phenomenal people that I meet when I go to events and speak at events that have really really cool products, but they just struggle to get it out there. And that's what that's what we try and do, and that's what we try and help them with. So you know, again, you can create a multiple six figures with this strategy. It's it's phenomenal. Okay, so upselling. Upselling is very important. You can show other companies how they can upsell other products or services to increase their average unit of purchase. Um, yeah, all you do is go out and find other products for them for a cut. You know, uh, I, in my previous business, we did really well by doing bundling, okay? We had our core product, and we actually bought products in from other partners to bundle in with our product because we had competitors selling similar products, but we want to be quite unique. Now, for example, and this is crazy if you listen to this, um, we, used to, we used to bundle plasma TVs with our $5,000 coach uh, training programs. And guess what? People used to ring up just to actually buy, spend $5,000 to get a, 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 a you know, $1,000 uh, plasma TV. It's absolutely, uh, absolutely, as we say in the UK, bonkers. Um, but, you know, that's what people do. And upselling is good. You can show companies how they can incorporate other people's products into their offering. Um, and, and, and bundle it. So it's pretty cool. Every company needs an upsell strategy. Okay, this is one of my favorites, reactivating inactive buyers. Now, here's the thing, guys. Did you know that um, uh, something called customer attrition, okay, and it's the amount of customers that businesses lose every year. And this is normally about 20%. Because, you know, I've been, we've all been responsible for this, right? We go out looking for new customers that we don't even realize that we're losing existing customers because we're not servicing them, okay? So here's a strategy that you can go out and do actually right now. You go out and get together with other businesses, and it's like a Groupon, but an offline Groupon. And you offer, uh, and you offer like, a go to a gym and say, look, I can help you reactivate, um, you know, uh, um, uh, memberships, reactivate memberships. Go to local businesses, get them each to give you a free voucher for something and put that together in a book and then give that to the gym membership company and say, look, I've created a booklet for you here, a voucher booklet for local, the local businesses. Uh, for every person uh, that wants to uh, reactivate the membership, give them a voucher booklet. And for every membership that gets reactivated, I would like to take a percentage. Okay? And then you can also do something called double dipping. You take a percentage of the gym and any of the companies that um, uh, someone comes in to, uh, to give a voucher, for example, uh, they, they make a sale, they give you a percentage. Now, you can track this by using QR codes, okay? You can use, use QR codes on voucher, vouchers, and you can track how many people have actually gone in there <coughs> and, uh, and work out the percentage of what your commission would be. So remember what I said earlier, guys, it costs six times as much to get to new customers. Okay, unconverted leads. This is my favorite one. And first of all, guys, thank you very much. I mean, I can't believe everyone's actually stayed on this webinar. So 100% of you are still here. So that's pretty cool. Um, thank you for that. 
Uh, okay, unconverted leads. I'm gonna I'm gonna share something with you right now that I did in my previous company and I've done with several clients. Okay, and this is this is very very cool. So you can do this. You can make loads of money from this. Okay. So here's the thing. Company A gets five thousand corn in leads a month. Okay. They convert fifteen percent of them, and you might say, "So hell, that's a really good uh, conversion rate. Wow, fifteen percent." But look, what do they do with the other four thousand two hundred fifty unconverted leads that cost them money? Okay. Now here's the thing, you get them to do an endorsed joint venture campaign to promote their products to their unconverted leads because they've not purchased it and split the profits. Now, in my previous business, we did online training, okay? We used to get uh, people who used to come to the website and say, you know, do you do uh, classroom-based training? But we didn't. This is what we did. We approached our competitors who were uh, classroom-based training companies and said, guys, have you got any leads? that you couldn't convert because people wanted online training give that to us okay and we will uh, we will make sales from that and for every sale we make we'll give you a percentage and vice versa we'll give you our unconverted leads so you can do a lead swap or if you're really clever guys really clever you can acquire the unconverted leads and you can sell that to another company as a lead broker okay you can make shit loads of money doing that and it costs you nothing you charge five dollars ten dollars per lead you're going to make thousands okay so that's another strategy that you guys can can easily easily do so that's a pretty cool strategy that i've done um you know with a um with a few oh thank you i've got some really really cool comments coming there guys i'm not done yet we're not done yet so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into into more exciting stuff coming up so okay so that's pretty cool okay so um you know as i said guys there's so much abundance in leads for everybody so it's all about abundance so um, you know these strategies that I've just spoken about you know please 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 go out and actually do them just take action because they work trust me they work I've had people I've had people not even sign up to any of my programs and go out and do this and make money okay and they've actually told me that they've done it and I'm pleased because you know you made money now have you got enough money yes you have cool now sign up to my program so it's pretty cool um, okay so here's the thing guys uh, something I want to share with you guys early 2011 I did my first JV broker business program, uh, and to date, you know, at Touchwood, uh, we've trained over 30 JV brokers around the world in the US, UK, and over in the Middle East. I want to just tell you, if it's okay with you, uh, uh, just about my next program coming up in February 2013, uh, my JV broker business program. A very successful program I've been running now for, for the last two years, and uh, it's it's uh, it's it's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, this is what you get in the program, okay? You get live JV broker training worth $10,000. You get 12 months coaching and support, guys. In the package, you get support with me as well because I think it's very fundamental. That's worth at least about $50,000. I also hand you a JV deal worth at least six figures. Uh, I hand every one of my brokers a six-figure project to work on uh, uh, on, the last, uh, on the third day, on the last day of the training. Uh, you also get my JV broker home study program. I haven't really officially launched this yet, but you get a copy of it. It's five thousand dollars, and uh, if any of you guys are interested in that, you can also touch base with me. Uh, if uh, you can't travel, maybe you can go through the home study, which is exactly what you get. Everything on this program, you get the uh, you get a home study version as well. Um, you also get a license to resell my JV products, and uh, you get my client lead generation system. All my brokers have their own uh, landing pages and lead generation system in place to get leads for JVs. So a couple of testimonials again. Um, having a real JV deal to work on was the main reason behind me signing up. I've already made back my investment. That's one of my brokers. Uh, I would never be able to make uh, to become this successful at brokering JVs if it wasn't for the live training and support from Sahel. Okay, so the live training element is very, very important. Uh, uh, we've already gone through this testimonial earlier. And here's the thing, guys. This program is strictly limited to just seven places only. Okay, I keep my programs very, very small. The next three-day live JV brokering business program is here in London, in the UK, February 15th, 16th, and 17th, 2013. Make a note of that. In Las Vegas, uh, where I do it uh, uh, on a, uh, every quarter, it's February 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. So make a note of that. If you want to attend the UK one, that's the dates. Uh, if you want to attend in the US, it's in Las Vegas. The total value of the package is at least over two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, if you get if you if you tally everything, which is actually quite phenomenal. But here's the thing: you pay just nine thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. It's a, it's a basically it's a, it's a, it's a whole business brokering program. It's not just training. 
uh, I work with you and help you set up your whole business brokering, uh, your whole brokering business over a 12 month period after the three day training as well. Or three payments of $3,997. And guys, one other thing, it comes with a full no questions asked money back guarantee. Yes, I have a money back guarantee for this program. And um, uh, uh, those of you guys who get onto a call with me, I'll explain to you exactly how that works. And it is full, no questions asked, money back guarantee. I think it has to be in place because I want you to experience this program. So here's the thing, guys. Here's my take action now discount for all of you guys who are still on this uh, uh, training program. Registration is strictly by application, okay? The first five people who submit the application uh, with a refundable deposit uh, for a call with me, and the, the refundable deposit, guys, is, is only $197. You get that straight back uh, if uh, I believe the program's not right for you. If you, if you, if I believe the program's right for you and you decide to go forward, you just pay the remainder balance. So if you, uh, for the first five people to submit the application, you, you will save $2,000 off the live program, okay? So you will just pay $7,997 uh, instead of $9,997 or $5,000 if you come to the UK program. And don't forget, it comes with a full, no questions asked, money back guarantee, okay? So here's the thing, guys. Here's the next step. If you're serious, ask yourself this question. What is it costing you to stay where you are? Okay, so that's the most important thing. When people look at making an investment, and let me tell you this, guys, 75% of the people who come with this program have paid $10,000, okay, up front. They've paid $10,000 because they, I tell them to ask themselves this question, what is it, what is it costing you to stay where you are? So if, if, if you're interested in this program and you're serious, Submit your application below here at www.mybrokeringbusiness.com forward slash now, N-O-W, to see if this program is right for you, okay? Now, uh, it's, the spaces are very limited on this program. I mean, I keep my programs very, very small because I'm after specifically the right people to work with personality-wise. Um, a business wise background commercial I'm specifically after a certain amount of people so this isn't a big program you know if it's something that you're really interested in and you want to find out more about it uh, definitely um, uh, go to that link mybrokeringbusiness.com forward slash now uh, get on a call with me and I'll give you all the information you need and we'll be able to see you know if there is a synergy there and if, if, if I can help you and if this program is right for you and if it is, then, uh, and only then will I get you signed up. You, you can't buy this program anywhere without actually getting on a call with me to, uh, to figure out if the program is right for you, okay? So uh, what I'd like to do now is uh, if, you've got any if there's any questions that anyone wants to ask, um, you're welcome to ask the questions. And um, I'll see if there are any questions. Um, and um, well, I'll see if I can answer any questions either about the program, guys, or any questions that you want to ask me about JVs in particular. So if you've got any questions, um, I'd like to hear um, any questions that you have about the program or about JVs in particular. I mean, it looks like I've probably um, covered a lot and answered most of your questions. Okay, guys, any questions about the program? Like I said, guys, this is a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a program that I do uh, every quarter in Las Vegas and London. And also, if you want to uh, speak to any of my uh, current uh, students on the program, you're welcome to do that. Um, once we get on a, a strategy session call um, and you'd like to speak to any of my uh, current students, I can do that as well and put you in touch with them. They're happy to speak to you and give you information about what they found with the actual training program. Um, so, you know, just submit your application there below, mybrokenbusiness.com forward slash N-O-W now. And um, if you go to that page, there will be a, a button there and you can submit all your details there. So someone's asked, um, yes, I am. Uh, someone's asked, are you the only one doing the training? Uh, correct. We have no guest speakers. Uh, we have uh, no one else. It's just me. You get access to me for a full three days, and then you get uh, 12 months of coaching on a weekly basis with me and the rest of the group. You get access to a private group that I have where all my brokers are in, and we help each other. Um, Someone said, what is the best way to approach these business owners and not get the it's too good to be true reply? Very easy. Uh, when you approach business owners, um, find out what it is they want. Don't try and sell them anything. Don't even try and sell them on the concept. Just tell them that this is what you do and you like to help them and see how you can help them grow their business 
by uh, creating more leverage and more partners for them. So we did that today. We got on a call. I got on a call with one of my brokers, and it was phenomenal. We got on a call with a really well-known um, uh, uh, business expert, actually one of the secret millionaires, and um, she, she was very guarded. But by the end of the call, it was all relaxed, and you know we just tried to figure out how we could help her expand her business by uh, creating more partnerships for her. Okay, so that's the way you tackle it. Any more questions here? Okay, someone's asked, um, if I sign up to your program, um, how soon can I start making money? Okay, guys, that's the question that I always get asked. Now, here's the thing with uh, with this, um, with joint ventures. The, you'll be handed a project that you can get started with straight away, which will take you between six to eight weeks to recover your initial investment. Um, depending on the joint venture that you're doing, if you're doing a basic joint venture, which is like an endorsement online, pretty much in the space of, um, I'd say, four to eight weeks. But then if you're working on a bigger joint venture, which is like a six-figure or seven-figure joint venture, those predominantly take a couple of weeks. So that's pretty much the answers there for, uh, for that joint venture there. Let's have a look if we've got any more questions. Uh, someone said, okay, so if I want to sign up to your program, uh, can I not buy the program? Uh, where can I buy the program? Okay, you can't, you can't, there is no buy it now button. You, you have to go to that URL, uh, www.mybrokeringbusiness.com forward slash N-O-W. Uh, you've got to sign up to a strategy session because, guys, I have to qualify you for this program. It's very important um, because I, uh, you will become part of my team. And I, w I only like to work with people that I uh, have a good fit with and people who are serious about uh, creating uh, you know, a, a phenomenal lifestyle from being joint venture brokers. So Stuart's asked the question, uh, I'm looking to approach catalog companies as the distribution endorser for product owners to JV with. Can this work? Yes, definitely. Um, it definitely can work, Stuart. If you want to, um, Stuart, actually, uh, I know Stuart pretty well. Stuart, if you want to send me a private message on Facebook, I can probably help you get connected with that. But like I say again, you're going to need some training to be able to uh, implement some of these joint ventures. So we can talk more about that. Uh, Ken's just uh, said, I will be there in February. Thank you, Ken. Um, uh, that's great. Um, brilliant. And Oh, cool. Good stuff. Yeah, thank you for that. I've got a lot of, um, a lot of um, friends uh, actually on, on the call saying thank you. Uh, brilliant. Okay, guys, so um, if you've got any more last questions before we, uh, we close the, the training, uh, again, guys, you know, if you're serious, ask yourself the question, what is it costing you? To stay where you are and um, just you know hit that URL and I'm starting to, I, I'm actually opening up the applications now for February's program and I will be closing it um, uh, very soon because I'm working on some really really cool projects next year that I want my brokers to get involved with uh, excellent okay guys so once again thank you very much most of you are still on the call um, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of you for turning up to the call and uh, also, guys, if you can just give a little good shout out on Facebook for me, tell me what you thought of the webinar. Uh, uh, that would be really good. I'd, I'd be most grateful. Um, and uh, Jeremy's asked, what's the best method to approach companies to do JV? Guys, if, if any of you want a free template to approach JVs uh, as a bonus, if you go to my site at uh, www.sohail-khan.com, uh, so hellcon.com there's a free template on there that you can use because a lot of you are asking the same question uh, what is the best approach uh, to, uh, to to approach companies to do JVs and guys I, c I cover all this in my three day training and um, uh, you know I also hand you a, a six figure project to work on as well uh, that will get you up and running straight away so guys thank you very much um, like I say you know um, uh, when it comes to uh, costs for programs ask yourself the question what is it costing you to stay where you are? So it's obviously it's definitely costing you more to stay where you are than uh, moving forward, uh, uh, you know, uh, and and pushing past the barrier and having that breakthrough. So once again, guys, thank you very much for. Um, uh, uh, someone's just said I like that question. Yeah, it's I mean it's a very important question. You know, I I've, I've been asked that myself considerably. And it makes sense. You know, every time I make an investment in something, guys, I also invest in programs. Uh, I always ask myself, what does it cost me to stay where I am right now compared to what it would cost me if I wanted to move forward 
and, uh, and, and make more money and be more successful? So it's a great question. And once again, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to close up now the, uh, the, the training. And if you guys go over to um, www.mybrokeringbusiness.com forward slash now, and um, I look forward to speaking to many of you on, on a call, uh, seeing how, how we can help you uh, um, move forward and become successful. Okay, guys, have a lovely evening, morning, wherever you are. It's actually currently snowing here in the UK, so it is pretty chilly. And um, once again, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.